All right, now joining us for more on the AU Summit in Addis Ababa is Martin Boilin, the head of Comprehensive Africa Agricultural Program, NEPAD. He now joins us live from Addis Ababa. Thank you for joining us tonight, sir. Uh, the African Union Summit looks set on drawing a road map for the continent's development over the next 50 years. Can you give us a highlight of the plan to transform the continent's agriculture? Yes, indeed. Thank you so much. Uh, it is true that agriculture is going to be important in uh, driving African Union's agenda, uh, uh, the 50-year program, Agenda 2063. And we are saying, how do we actually achieve that result and that impact? And in doing that in terms of agriculture, I can say that we're looking at three to four issues. Number one is the issue of uh, value addition. When you're talking about agro-industry and indeed value addition in terms of volume, in terms of diversity, is going to be an important part in terms of pooling both production and productivity. Number two is the issue of technologies. Uh, we're looking at both in terms of availability of appropriate and relevant technologies, but also looking at uh, uh, skills development in terms of innovations and the capacity in terms of using improved technologies. Number three, you can also look at access to uh, productive assets, especially when you look at land, you look at water, you look at uh, access to financing, and this is important, especially when you're saying, where is this performance, increased performance of agriculture going to come from? It's going to come from especially rural areas and smallholder farmers, women and the youth, and indeed, access to resources by women and the youth is going to be very critical in achieving the results in agriculture as desired. Very, very few countries have realized their target of allocating 10% of their budgets to agriculture, as envisioned in the Maputo Declaration. Where has the challenge been? Yes, the challenges in terms of uh, achieving the 10 percent uh, is uh, in fact we first and foremost let me make the point that uh, there has been a, a lot of progress in terms of uh, advancement on financing for agriculture uh, most countries are yes uh, in below 10 percent in terms of uh, the public sector budget but the majority of the countries are actually going in a positive direction and indeed, this is something that we, would, we want to see and expect to see increased financing because, yes, we will see results and there will be comparing cases to actually enhance financing into agriculture, both in terms of public sector financing but also private sector financing. For the majority of countries on the continent, there has been a challenge of poor uptake of technology in agriculture, which has compromised food security ultimately. What is NEPAD's proposal to deal with this? Yes, actually, as I mentioned in the beginning, uh, improved and increased access to technology is going to be important. You're talking about improved seed, improved uh, uh, fertilizer use, mechanization, irrigation. And what we are saying is that, in fact, apart from just accessing this, there has been the problem of poor capacity and ability to appropriately and effectively apply these technologies. So one of the things that is important is that this technology is uh, applied in, uh, in systems that are viable, that are productive, and indeed can actually not just finance the use of that uh, investments, but can also support uh, innovation and improvements in those technologies as point number one. Number two, as I said, is uh, how do we capacitate communities, farmers, and uh, enterprise entrepreneurs in terms of using improved uh, technologies and uh, this is uh, something that is important both in terms of training in terms of uh, availability of financing mm -hmm. and indeed uh, 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 something that we want to pursue through the south south cooperation engagement with other countries all right thank you for joining us tonight that's mr martin Boa, Boa Lea, who's joining us from addis ababa